cameraman Simon and I are going to try an experiment. I want to see and film a Wells catfish underwater. I want to see exactly how Europe's biggest freshwater predator operates in its element. What I really want to see is the moment when the Wells gets to strike its prey. It isn't going to be easy. This is something that very, very few people get to see. But I do have a few ideas about what I can use to tempt the fish in. This is the camera, and this is what's going to be behind the boat, and about three feet behind this is going to be the lure. So it's going to be looking back. The thing is, this is actually quite a, quite a lump of a camera, even though it's a small camera. So I think, uh, here we go, size got, here we go. Flotation, two, if we need them. two tanks, and to stop it wibble wobbling around a little bit because we're angling, there we go, one of those, and that will just keep it flying straight and level. And we'll lob that off the back of the boat and we'll see the lure and hopefully we'll see something come up and grab the bait. I'll need to hang on, otherwise, you know, if something big takes this, you know, the whole monitor could go overboard. This is actually working really well. I've got the lure in picture. It's bang in the middle of the screen. I'm actually watching. You know, normally it's just there and you've no idea what's happening. Um, I can actually see my lure out behind the boat. A fish? I think it was a carp. Yeah. Oh, it's, we're bumping over the bottom. Oh, dear. What's going on there? Right, I need to in a bit, in a bit, in a bit. No, it's bumping, it's bumping. I've lost the lure, haven't I? I've lost the lure. I think the camera might have been bashed around a bit, though. <laughs> Not robust enough, unfortunately, to withstand being bashed along the bottom. But other than that, actually doing very well. Before that, there was this grey shadow that appeared from nowhere, which sort of came and went, and it could have been a catfish investigating it and shying off at the last minute, or it could have just been a rock going past, I don't know. What I'm about to see is another unexpected aspect of these fish's behaviour. What we're doing is we're doing something called clonking, and it's making a... sending a sound wave down into the water. And we can see on the sonar... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's direct on your lures. Oh, there it is, there it is. I've got it. There's a catfish, there's a catfish, there's a catfish. Yeah, it's right under the lure. Yeah. Fantastic. I see him on the yeah, yeah. There he is, there he is, tentacles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, what's happened now? And it's coming up now, right in the middle of the screen. Fantastic. Look at that. He's attacking the camera. What this has just demonstrated is that when you've got splashing, when you've got commotion on the surface, the catfish, which you know they live on the bottom, they will come up to investigate. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. Bottom of the screen. There it is, there it is, there it is. Look at that. There it is. Oh, he's come off. Come off. This is amazing. Getting a fish on camera, taking a bait, attracted in by sound and vibration. Like sharks to a plane crash, these fish fear nothing. It even attacks the camera. It's been really good, though, just, just to actually see what I've seen on the screen. Very, very rare to see this fish behavior. So I feel sort of quite, quite privileged to have seen that. This fish is almost as heavy as I am. I mean, it is. This is, this is a really rare. Sorry, that fish is seven foot long. It's about 140 pounds. 